Freestyle Libre versus the Dexcom G6. Two calibration free CGMs. Which one is better? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Camille. I'm also known as Ned Diabetic, and I do loads of videos on YouTube about diabetes technology. And in today's video, I'll be comparing the Dexcom G6 with the Freestyle Libre. Now, I wore two systems simultaneously for seven days. I paid for both systems myself, this is my own money and I'm not associated with Dexcom nor Abbott uh, and I wore them simultaneously for 7 days but I want to point out that at some point in this video I will mention my myotransmitter for the Freestyle Libre and I did receive that transmitter for free about over a year ago to do my video comparison. Hashtag fully transparent. So I hope you enjoy, feel free to share this video. And if you don't have time to watch the entire video, basically I think the Libre is incredible and I think Dexcom is incredible as well. But from now on, I will be using the Dexcom G6. However, I will switch to the Freestyle Libre Generation 2 with Bluetooth built in as soon as it comes out. So I will compare the Freestyle Libre with the Dexcom G6 in six key categories. See what I did there? and I will score each on a scale from 1 to 10 in each category. Now before I do that, quick background on both devices. If you know how they work and what's the difference between the Freestyle Libre and the Dexcom G6, feel free to go to this time for category number 1, Accuracy. So the Dexcom G6 is a real-life continuous glucose monitor that sends your blood glucose data constantly every five minutes. System has three key components. Glucose sensor, which lasts for 10 days, but you can get more. Transmitter, which sends glucose data from the sensor, which lasts three months. And a device, which works as a receiver. This can be a Dexcom receiver or your smartphone. On the other hand, the Freestyle Libre is a flash glucose monitor or not real life continuous glucose monitor, which measures your glucose content in the same way as the Dexcom G6, but it stores that data locally. Okay, so let's start with category number one, accuracy. The most important thing in continuous glucose monitors. Now, before I start comparing them, I need to point out a couple of very important things. So I wore the Freestyle Libre sensor and the Dexcom sensor simultaneously for seven days. I wore my Dexcom G6 sensor on my arm, which is technically not a Dexcom approved site, even though it is extremely popular in our community. I haven't calibrated my Dexcom G6 in those seven days. My Libre sensor was applied on my other arm and I didn't calibrate my Libre link app and my Libre reader because that's impossible. Data from the third party transmitter M in a spy cap has been calibrated twice on day one of my Freestyle Libre sensor as it is required. Also, last thing on accuracy, which is very, very important, is that my point of accuracy might be very different to yours. So some readings which I might call inaccurate, you might find them highly fine and, and okay. So keep that in mind. So, accuracy. Generally speaking, they are both very, very accurate. I am highly confident in making treatment decisions from both the Freestyle Libre and the Dexcom G6. My Excel spreadsheet declares the Dexcom G6 to be more accurate. However, we need to put some of those figures into a bit of a perspective. When in my range, I often found Dexcom and Libre to show exactly the same number which was reasonably accurate compared to the finger prick. Need to say that Dexcom G6 is more accurate when high or above target, especially when seriously above target. Also, I think that G6 is more uh, responsive to rapid increase or decrease in glucose levels. One key reason it is Dexcom's algorithm, which in my opinion predicts future glucose values and takes that into account when creating a reading. I definitely felt like Dexcom G6 was sometimes giving me readings from the future, so Dexcom G6 would say that I'm below target but not low, uh, but I was actually still in my target, and then 20 minutes later I would actually be below target but still not low, so um, that was quite interesting. Whereas I felt like the Freestyle Libre was giving me more of a right here, right now glucose level. And so my Dexcom G6 accuracy score is 8 out of 10. And my Freestyle Libre accuracy score is also 8 out of 10. 
So now, how does that compare with the third-party transmitter M and Spike data? Well, this is how. Spike Up is smashing both the Freestyle Libre and the G6. Now, I want to again stress out that I have calibrated my Spike Up twice in day one of my Freestyle Libre sensor. Details on that are in Excel spreadsheet notes. This is not actually surprising to me as I fully trust Spike and M combo and this is why I'm looping. One key difference that I have noticed uh, between values from Spike is that they tend to be more accurate when in range and less accurate when high or low. Also, uh, compared to G6 and Libre reading, I definitely felt that Spike M readings tend to be more draggy and behind, especially when glucose changes very rapidly. So, in a nutshell, they're both very accurate. <laughs> now, category number two, sensor application. Dexcom claims that G6 application is painless. No, I would somehow disagree. It is very, very different to the Freestyle Libre application. A G6 insert needle goes in at ultra high speed and in my honest opinion you can definitely feel it entering and leaving. It happens very very quickly. I definitely wouldn't call the insertion painful but it is just very strange. And so Dexcom G6 sensor application gets 6 out of 10. It would be 7 if they launched applicator recycling program at launch. On the other hand, the Freestyle Libre application is very, very different and based on my personal experience over the last three years, I definitely can't feel the actual insertion, but I can definitely feel this wet um, sensation in the one hour warm-up period. So because of that, the Freestyle Libre inserter is getting 8 out of 10. Third category is app experience. Now, this one is extremely simple for me. Spike wins every single time. In my opinion, it's the best CGM app. So well written, so well designed. It is so simple, so easy to understand. Has so many incredible features that I used uh, on daily basis. Um, so that is the best one. But in terms of a Libre app versus the Dexcom app, Libre link app is okay. It has everything that you would expect from a CGM app. It does reports, logbook, etc. There is a lot of things that it should have, such as health app integration and other things but overall i can definitely recommend it and it has truly replaced my libre reader so a libre app is getting seven out of ten now dexcom their app looks incredible i really really like how basic and how a simple the dexcom g6 app is it is a really nicely designed app the best thing about the dexcom app is the apple watch app it's without doubt the best looking CGM Apple Watch app available. In terms of usability, it's okay, but some things in the Dexcom app are so truly overcomplicated, like the alarms, and I'll probably do a video at some point with everything that the Dexcom app needs. But there is one thing I need to talk about. Dexcom, if you're watching this, here is something you should know. As a type 1 diabetic, it is perfectly normal, it is natural for my blood glucose level to rise after certain things, like a carby meal. There is nothing fundamentally alarming about that. And the fact that in 2018 you haven't yet created sneeze alarm function so I can manually disable my high alarm for the next two hours is crazy i mean that's the one feature that i've used in the spike app every single day after every single meal because why do i need a high alarm after a carby breakfast it is natural for my blood glucose level to rise and it just doesn't make sense for me to have the alarm so if dexcom if you're watching this you probably are please 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 do this So overall, Dexcom G6 gets 6 out of 10 from me. Next category, cost. This is a very important category for me because I still fund my CGM supplies, so I pay 100% of my uh, CGM. Now, please do your own research because obviously this varies from country to country, but 
In the UK, monthly cost of the Freestyle Libre, so two census, is £96. If you want to turn them into CGM with alarms, then you need to buy one of third-party transmitters. For example, M retails for $199, but you can use Near Diabetic for 10% off, so about £150, depending on exchange rates. Dexcom costing, on the other hand, is a little bit more complex. So in the UK, Dexcom has a subscription model called Subscribe and Save, and uh, that plan costs £159 per month for full-time census and transmitters. So you don't need to extend your census. If you don't sign this contract, then you can buy individual census and transmitters. One census costs £50 and lasts 10 days, so £150 per month for census plus transmitter costs. However, I have been extending my Dexcom to six census and I managed to get 20 days from my first uh, G6 sensor. So if you can get 15 days out of every single Dexcom G6 sensor, which is totally doable and in my opinion, highly reasonable, then uh, you would only require two Dexcom G6 sensors, which would cost you a hundred pounds. So in terms of sensor costs, it is a tie if you extend each G6 by five days, as they both would cost £100 each in sensors. The only difference is transmitter. G6 transmitter needs to be replaced every three months and it retails for £200. And Libre doesn't require a transmitter unless you want al alarms. So my personal scores, I'm giving Libre six out of 10, I think uh, Libre is a good value for money and I'm giving Dexcom G6 4 out of 10. Uh, and like I said, um, cost is something extraordinary personal, so please make sure you do your own research. Next category, reports. Dexcom Clarity is a clear winner here. It is incredibly well organized and hands down one of the best analysis tools for diabetics. Well done Dexcom, truly deserved. 10 out of 10. Libre View is okay once you get your data uploaded. I have been struggling with Libre View from the very beginning as their website simply doesn't like Mac computers and it is a mess all the way around. I'm scoring Libre View 5 out of 10. And my last category is called Other Important Stuff. So, in Other Important Stuff, Libre has only one approved site, your arm, and Dexcom G6 only has only one approved site for adults your abdomen. I have never tried different side locations for the Freestyle Libre as I personally think that arm is the only suitable location for scanning. Dexcom on the other hand doesn't require scanning so I think experimenting with different uh, Dexcom sites is more reasonable. It's a shame that Dexcom hasn't benefited from the advantage and pushed for approvals for sites such as your arm. Another small important thing, adhesives. They both work very, very well. Very sticky, I have been using Libre in a pool, sauna, steam room, etc. without any issues. I haven't had an opportunity to work out or swim with the G6 because I stopped my gym membership about three months ago, but I'm restarting it next week, so I will report back on Dexcom adhesive in those um, circumstances in my Dexcom G6 uh, review. So in other important stuff, the Lee Brace scores 8 out of 10 and the Dexcom scores 7 out of 10. Now this score also includes my personal opinion on the actual shape of both devices. And so overall scores are Dexcom G6 41, Freestyle Libre 42. And this overall score perfectly demonstrates how I feel about those two devices. They are both really really good. They both have some negatives and positives. Dexcom is more expensive but has built-in alarms. Libre is smaller but doesn't have built-in alarms yet. So which one is better? Now I'll probably be able to answer that question fully after a couple of months with the G6 but for now personally I believe that Dexcom G6 is a little bit better than the Freestyle Libre due to a couple of small things like having no calibration but still allowing us to calibrate it and built-in alarms and clarity. In terms of the best value for money, I personally believe that Libre is better value for money, especially with the ability to have alarms with 
third party transmitters. From now on I have decided that I will switch to Dexcom G6, however I will switch back to the Libre as soon as the second generation of the Freestyle Libre with Bluetooth built in is launched which is expected to be in fourth quarter of 2019 possibly a little bit earlier. So yeah, that's it from me. So I hope you enjoyed it. Now please remember that CGM is something so extraordinary personal. You wear it on your body 24 seven. And the fact that I think that Dexcom is better or the fact that Dexcom is working for me doesn't mean it will work for you. So please speak to a healthcare professional about this and please do your own research. So that's that. Also, if you are interested in the Excel spreadsheet I've been showing throughout this video, I have made it available to download. So you can download it. A link will be in the description. You can view it and have a look to see the every single point. Also, um, I wish that I could stay at home for those seven days and, and just do finger pricks every five minutes to compare them. But this was, you know, seven days of my life. Um, so I wish maybe there was more entry point, but that's what I did. And so, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like diabetes technology. Make sure you give us a like, comment, da da da. See you in the next one.